first, fast, accurate with Jennifer Copeland and Rick Schutt. You're watching WSBT 22 News at 5. New details about the teen killed in a fiery crash in Marshall County. Now, we first told you about this last night on WSBT 22 News at 11. Police say an SUV went off US 6 and hit several trees near Quince Road. That's between Walkerton and US 31. This crash killed 17-year-old Christina Morin. WSBT 22's Hillary Powell was in Walkerton today as the community came together. Hillary. That's right. I spoke to friends and school officials at John Glenn High School, which community members describe as a hub for that town. Here, people took time to talk about what Christina meant to them. She was a young woman friends called family. She'll be, she'll be missed. And we, I know as a McDonald's family, we all love her and it's going to be hard, but we'll get through this. On Tuesday night around 8.30, Elise Daly saw smoke from a car crash at US 6 just east of Quince Road. She says she soon learned the victim was her friend, Christina Morin. Flowers serve as a memorial at the crash site where an investigation continues. Friends say the 17-year-old Morin had a big smile and a great work ethic. She left John Glenn High School last year as a junior to work alongside her parents at a local McDonald's. I lost it because She's just, she's part of our, we call it our McFamily there at McDonald's, and so it's like losing another member of our, of our team. Today, counselors were on hand to speak with students at John Glenn about their former classmate. There have been kids who have been upset, and again, we've, we've directed them to talk with their counselor and, and to just do what they need to do, have some quiet time, express their feelings in a, in a safe place. Winchell says, though a somber day, he's remembering Christina and her grin. I just remember Christina always having a smile on her face. Um, she just was always very pleasant, always one of those kids who would say good morning to you in the hallway. Words that spell out just how much Christina belonged to Walkerton. We reach out to the Morin family, but they have yet to respond. A lieutenant with the Marshall County Sheriff's Department tells me the accident investigation is ongoing. At the live desk, Hillary Powell, WSBT 22 News. Hillary, thank you.